Welcome to the ICT Using Education course, specially focusing on main services offered in Korea. I'm Per Guan, a senior manager at iPortfolio, the global ad tech company specialized in digital textbook platform for English language learning and teaching. In this last part, we'll see how the COVID-19 pandemic has impacted the education sector in Korea and how iPortfolio can be part of the solution. COVID-19 definitely hit hard education sector globally, and Korea was not the exception. In case of Korea, where the new semester begins in March instead of September, had to go through four times of postponement of semester start. And at the end, the Ministry of Education announced unprecedented online semester start in April. Unavoidably, four million students from elementary to high schools had started their new semester online. Since government restricted people's congregating inside a building, people realized that traditional ways for teaching and learning became helpless. So in this pandemic era, e-learning and m-learning or so-called smart learning has been considered as an alternative and students and teachers had to familiarize themselves with this new normal. Many of the seminars and forums of a teachers' association showed how teachers have studied so hard to curate different types of online teaching tool for creating their own online courses and motivate students to participate in the class. Not only the schools, but also households are alerted to find out alternative learning methods for home-based learning. For instance, Reading Ends web traffic had increased almost two times after the announcement of a delay of school opening. Also, iPortfolio's global education service, Oxford Learners Bookshelf, witnessed the same increasing demand. In 2020, 350,000 users are newly registered, and during the first peak of pandemic, the usage of Oxford Learners Bookshelf increased 200%. According to the report published by OECD, professionals responded that ensuring the continuity of academic learning for students is the most critical. And the second most critical issue is supporting students who lack skills for independent study. But on the other side, respondents said introduction of technologies and other innovations and increased autonomy of students are the most positive result of what COVID-19 brought to classrooms. Therefore, our role as a company in ad tech industry is to figure out educational services that minimize the concerns that teachers and learners have, at the same time stimulate the positive side of the changes COVID-19 brought to us. In case of the situation in Korea, extracted from the OECD report, we can see that main sectors of a smart learning ecosystem look very advanced comparing to OECD's average. Access to a computer for schoolwork, digital devices at school, access to internet, which is almost 100%, sufficient internet bandwidth, which is also outdistance OECD average. Thanks to this above average fine condition for ICT in education in Korea, the needs for digital libraries such as Reading N has surged during the pandemic. Self-guided reading, ubiquitous reading with mobile devices is considered as an essential ad tech service during COVID-19 spread. Reading N's gamified quiz, AI speech analysis, customized monthly report, Stood out more for home-based learning. Moreover, Reading N's learning management system was very helpful for teachers in private education institutions. Since teachers can monitor their classes' reading progress per class level and individual level, and teachers can manage their class as sort of flipped learning. Teachers can see whether students finished all the five-step multi-dimensional reading and even whether students flip through pages or read the book thoroughly. 
Also, teachers can listen to the students' recorded speech so they can monitor directly students' progress. In order to countermeasure against the swiftly changing education field, iPortfolio tries to expand our service to set up a total solution for English language learning. What we are working on now is enhancing each area of four skills of language acquisition. We are under progress of developing AI engine for after reading conversation and other use for writing autocorrection. We are also working on our own video conference system that will be embedded onto reading end platform for interactive after reading activities. Lastly, building up a solid library system as sourcing more high quality readers and at the end, we aim for providing customized curation services and even reading roadmap for individuals. The ultimate purpose of advancing our technology is for minimizing the spending gap and competence gap in English education. We believe highly advanced but commonly accessible technology in education sector can bring a new future and it's already started. Hope that our sessions have been useful to understand the current status of ICT use in education in Korea. Thanks for having been with me.